Hit him. Hit him. Good job, buddy. Good job. Put down that knife. I think he dropped it. He's all scared of my Malinois. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me on today's patrol. We're going to be out here in Blaine County driving this really nice 2015 Chevy Tahoe. It's a K9 unit, also known as a crime suppression unit, and it's by Officer 5-0. You can get this off the LSPDFire.com site. I'll be sure to link it down below, and I'll also join my master links as well. I'm so happy to see K9 Partner get an update with LSPDFire 0.4.2. We're going to go ahead and select Blaze here. I love how this mod works. It's really nice. Watch this animation. Pretty cool. I like that. Now the K9 Partner mod's been updated just a little bit. I think you took out uh, where you can actually carry the animal, your K9 Partner. Uh, there's really not a lot of need for that. I mean, maybe to roleplay a little bit, but it'd have a lot of functionality, you know. But you can also uh, teleport to different uh, police stations, which is really nice. And then also, one of the cool features that they added into uh, K9 Partner Mod is the ability to search for narcotics, explosives, and weapons all at the same time. So that way you don't have to select one by one and uh, end up kind of interfering with gameplay a little bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get him into the vehicle. Thank you there, Blaze. And he'll actually shut the door, too, because he's so smart. 3 John, show me 1041. We're going to be 10 8, K9. Thank you guys so much for destroying the like button. We've been getting consistently over 150 likes per video. You guys are awesome. Attention all units. Assault with a deadly weapon on Great Ocean Highway. 10-4. John, copy that. Responding code 3. 10-4, copy that. Okay, we're going to be going code 3. We've got a possible suspect that's kind of wielding a knife out here. Um, we may have to just take an actual shortcut here. That's what I'm thinking. Here, I'm going to actually do this since we're in a Chevy Tahoe. Okay, we're going to go right up here. The other, supposedly, here he is right here. I was about to say, supposedly there's a guy that's like a killer clown or something. Like a, some guy dressed like a clown and he's uh, got a machete, guys. Let's get Blaze after him. Come on, Blaze. We want to try to catch him before he enters the, the actual highway. Hey, stop right there, buddy. Deputy Benzo, get on the ground, man. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Blaze, get him. Get him. Get him. Good job, buddy. Good job. Put down that knife. I think he dropped it. He's all scared of my Malinois. Hey John, we got 10, 15 times one. Stop right there, man. I'm trying to rest the stupid ass. All right, what are you doing out here, man? Why do you got a knife? I have a feeling he was about to charge me, but he didn't quite get the chance, you know what I'm saying? Alright, turn around. Let me pat you down. You can actually uh, have your canine sniff it out, too, if he if he's got something on him. Maybe if I pulled somebody over and those kind of things. So maybe we'll run uh, him around the cars here in a minute. Okay, this guy's got small baggies of cocaine. He's got a small revolver on him as well. 3 John requesting transport. Request 27. It's coming to Ryan Sharp, 928.99. Okay, he doesn't have any warrants or anything, so I'm not sure what's going on with this guy. He probably needs a trip to the hospital or something. Hello. Alright, 
Come on, Blaze. Asshole. Let's get you back to your unit. Three John, we're code four. Me and Blaze. Ten four, copy that. Three John, twenty one. Okay, it's kind of an odd call. Three John, copy that. Responding code three. Okay, let's go, guys. Who wants to respond to code three? Got a possible fight up here. And uh, we'll just send Blaze after him. Sounds cool to me. Is this going to be at our actual police station? That's going to be real close to our police station. Three John, we got a suspect spotted out here. We got fighting. Ten four, copy that. Three John, twenty one. Okay, come on. Stop. Go get her. I'm gonna kill you. No, you're not. Get him too. Get him, both of them. Both of y'all, get your hands up. Good job, Blaze. Get on your knees. Blaze has got him. You too, sir. Get on your knees. Get on your knees, man. Three John, we had two suspects at gunpoint. Stay right there. Okay, we got one right here. Arrest him. Let's go ahead and get some backup here. Assistance needed in Palate to Bay. Both of y'all are in arrest for assault and battery. No, no, if it's like domestic uh, abuse or, you know. But uh, both of them were slugging it out. Okay. Let's go ahead and cr call no in way, a... Uh, let's go ahead and get a uh, female unit in here as well. Let's see, we could probably just do it this way. Okay, we got a female officer. Come here. Blaze, get over here, bud. All right, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay. Stay. Okay, let me see if I can get this officer here to... Okay, let me pet, pat this guy down, and then I'll handle the female in just one second. Okay, he's got a bag of heroin on him. Also, we're gonna do, let me do a quick pet check on this guy too. Three John, let's get a twenty-seven, please. It's gonna be on a Ethan Mac two twenty-six eighty-six. Okay, he has no warrants. All right, I'm hoping that she'll pat him down. Let's see. Nope. See, guys, I tried. I tried to get the female officer in here to pat her down, but I wish there was ability on Ultimate Backup where you can select, you know, that you want the female officer to pat her down, you know what I mean? If I was fast enough that this officer over here, this deputy, could have probably taken him already, but I wasn't fast enough, and she already rolled up afterwards. All right, so she, she had a terrorist mask on her, a police stick. Okay. Okay, at least uh, the female's taking her. Oh, no, she's taking him. That's strange. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're done. Okay. All right, you take the female then, okay? I tried, guys. All right. 
Come on, Blaze. Over here. Thank you. All right, we solved that mystery. Fight. Thanks so much. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get Blaze in here. Okay, Blaze is in. I'm probably gonna update Blaze's model a little bit if I'm in the sheriff's department and try to get a sheriff vest on him. There's a way you could do that if you know a little bit of open IV and whatnot. Dispatch calling unit three, John twenty one, citizens report a driver under the influence. Okay, so Procopio Promenade. Oh, they're right behind us. Three John, copy that. Responding code two. So we have a, uh, here, let's go back down this direction here, guys. Flip through this light. We have a vehicle that we're going to try to head off down here on Procopio Promenade. And, uh, yeah, we'll head them off back down this way. It's possibly driving under the influence. This is where Blaze is going to come in handy. That way I can search the vehicle. Uh, check it out for narcotics, weapons, explosives, those kinds of things. But we're really mainly looking for uh, like narcotics stuff like that. That's what I'm really interested in. But we're going to park right here and they're actually going to come out I do believe towards us. They're still heading this way. The cool thing about you know playing in this game for so long you can actually um, know which direction people are going not necessarily look at the map all the time but you get to recognize certain streets. Guys, this is a perfect opportunity for a benzo timestamp. Look at your video time, guys. Go down and post that video time right now and do hashtag benzo effect. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for doing that. It kind of lets me know how long you've been watching the video. You guys are awesome. All right, that guy right there. Here he is. Let's kind of watch him for a second. Yeah, he's all over the road. Oh my gosh, 10.50. Three John, we got a ten fifty. You just route one. Ten four three John twenty one. And of course he's gonna hit that too. Wow. Requesting play check. Ten four three John twenty one. It's gonna be on a Virgo, black in color, occupied at one time. Five two young zebra robber two and one. Target license plate. Five, two, young, zebra, Robert, two, one, one, a warrant issued, a traffic felony. Proceed okay. with caution. We're going to go ahead and we're probably going to code five this. I always enjoy code fiving. Backup needed in Palato Forest. Okay, we do have our backup units here. Sir, get out of the vehicle. Put your hands up. Come back toward me. Step back. Get on your knees. Stay right there. Stay right there. Okay, this officer's going to arrest him. Three John, we got 10, 15 times one. 10, four, copy that. All right, sir, you hang on one second. I'll tell you why we're handling oh you this way. Days. All right, let's put him in the back end of this vehicle right here. Actually, we need to search him. Okay, sir, tell you what. Thank you for getting in. Now step back out. All right, I'm going to pat him down. Okay, so guys, you're going to want to stick around to the end of the episode. We got a nice little blooper reel for you. All right, so he doesn't have a lot going on. He does have a felony warrant. We're going to do a quick little pet check real fast. We John to get a 27, please. Okay. And let's see here. That's going to be on a Cletus Snow 10977. Here he goes. 
He's got a warrant for his arrest. And uh, let's go ahead and get him back into the vehicle. And now we'll get him back in properly. Sometimes you forget to do the simple things, you know. I do like this uh, Code 5 assistance. Look at this, guys. I love it. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and go through this vehicle real fast. Going to search it real fast. He gave up that ride whenever he came back wanted. He's also probably under the influence. Oh, he's got a sniper rifle in there. Requesting tow truck. We're probably gonna get a flatbed. Flatbed, please. Flatbed. Assistance required in Palato Forest. Okay, we're gonna actually do this one more thing here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get him out one more time. Sometimes, you know, you just forget certain things when you're playing this game. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a breathalyzer because I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna be intoxicated. And then we'll probably file charges against him for this as well for a DWI. And then he's also got a felony warrant. Yeah, he's under, he's over the legal limit, 0.167%. All right, son, son. <laughs> All right, son, get back in the back of the get back in the back of the truck. <laughs> so funny. All right, we'll go ahead and let them take him. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate it. We do got a tow truck coming behind everybody that's kind of cool this is like newsworthy you know what I'm saying stick around for some cool future episodes guys I got a lot of good ideas if you like police simulation work so stick around for that you guys know I always got some good ideas oh my gosh am I seeing what I think I'm seeing Okay, this bus driver, I think he's under the influence, guys. Either that or he's texting. Let's see what's... Let's see what the hell... What? Okay, I don't know if I can even do this. Yeah, I think I could ding him right here. Okay, I don't want to pull him over here. It's going to be way too inconvenient for everybody. But this guy's driving the, under the influence, guys. He's driving a freaking bus. This will be my first bus pullover, guys. I've only been playing this by like six years, so. Alright, I want to see a good spot, and I think I may have found one. Yeah, right here. If you can get him, get him over right here to the right, this will be awesome. Yes, nice. Nice. Look at that pullover, guys. Let's get him up a little bit further. Right there. John, we got a possible signal. S signal 13, US Route 1. Got a bus pulled over out here. 10 4, copy that. 3, John 21. It's actually signal 1, depending on what, you know, county and stuff like that. I meant to say signal 1. All right, let's go ahead and get some uh, backup here. Uh, let's do a, we don't want to do felony stop. Let's just do a code. Uh, let's do code 2. Uh, let's do... Here we go. Assistance needed in the Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Yeah, this is 2-4. I'm on a 6. Admin your screen. Okay, let's let's kind of look at this uh, particular bus real fast. Oh, three times. Get a 28, please. Roger that. It's going to be on a coach bus. 8-2 Ida David. Victor 041. Target vehicle Hi, license plate 8-2 Ida David Victor 041 no 1099. Okay. Sir, Deputy Benzo, Blaine County Sheriff. What's going on today? How come I observed you weaving all over the road out here on US Route 1? Can I even talk to him through here? Oh, I know there's a way to do it. Sir. What is she getting off the thing for? What? Sir, can you step out, please? Why did why did she get off the bus? Like I said, this is my first bus pullover. Ma'am, can you step over here? 
If the, de the deputy's gonna be watching you. All right, sir, you're the one driving the bus. Get the hell off the bus. <laughs> Get off the bus. I don't like your face. You ain't gonna do nothing. Okay, I think I think she's probably wanted. Come on, Blaze. Get him first, Blaze. Good job. Hands up, buddy. Hands up. Good job. Good job, Blaze. All right, man, get underneath. All right, we're gonna go after that female. I don't know what the hell the deal is with her. We're gonna go after her in just one second, but we're probably gonna take her vehicle down there because it's way too far. Don't she be getting up? Why did you leave her? Did she outrun you? All right, I'm gonna have her kind of deal with him. Come on, Blaze. Oh man. Oh god. You gotta love LSPD Fire, man. So my deputy stole the bus. The lady is still down there. And me and Blaze are gonna just stand stand here. And we're just gonna hang out. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and end our episode right here. Sometimes things happen with the LSPD fire games, crashes and stuff like that. If you could do me a huge favor, guys, I greatly appreciate you uh, stopping by the channel. If you can give the video a nice thumbs up before you leave, you guys are awesome. And then if you like what you see, guys, I release daily content pretty much. Hit that subscribe button, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much to the patrons and the members of the Benzo Effect channel. You guys are truly awesome for supporting the channel. You guys rock. You guys, take care. We'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe. Alright, sir, you hang on one second. I'll tell you why we're handling you this way. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. Okay, this is called the Michael Jackson Moonwalk. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> you made my blooper reel there, sir.